Father, are you right? My stars, that's what I want to ask you, Luca. Blundering around on that airship of yours. But never fear. My fortress was built to stand strong against bombing assaults as feeble as that one. It is good to see you again, King Giat. Ah, welcome, Radia. It's been ages. The Crystal Father, is it safe? We weren't able to protect it. It was taken by just a lone young woman, no less. What? That was no ordinary girl, though. She wielded the exact same powers as yours, Radia. <sighs> The same power as Rydia? You mean... She can control Eidolins? That's correct. She used that power to shrug off my most battled hardened dwarven guards and snatch away the crystal with ease. How could something like this happen? And why are the Red Wings involved in this? What is said? You hardly need to worry about that man, Luca. He is as stout and hardy as any dwarf I have met. Something's happened to Cecil. And to Baron. I'm sure of it. There's no other explanation for why they'd bomb this castle without reason. The wars of the past are about to spring forth anew. That much, I fear, is certain. Their forces already have three of the Dark Crystals in their hands! So the last crystal is... In the sealed cave! Father, I'm going to the sealed cave! Look at You have already put yourself through enough danger! If you go there... Oh, Father, I'll be fine! We aren't going alone anyway. What? Besides, the only way to get in is with this necklace I have, right? I want to be the one who uses it this time. It's all I have left from Mother. Luca... I... I never thought I had raised such a stubborn child. Like father, like daughter, you know. Just remember to be careful. The Tower of Babel has been glowing ominously for days. And I fear that this is only the beginning. Radia, make sure my daughter doesn't get into trouble. Yes, Your Majesty. And I'll be here to help you out, Rydia. My dear ladies, please do not overextend yourselves. We've enjoyed peace for many years. But now I'm afraid the time has come to reinforce our defenses. Are those two... I told you we weren't alone, didn't I? <laughs> These are Kelka and Brina. They'll be a huge help to us this time, I'm sure of it! More of Sid's work? I fixed them up, actually. My airship expertise gets me a pretty long way with these things. Now then, how about we set off for Tomra first? Tomra? If you can't summon Eidolins, then you're gonna need some new equipment. And fast! I suppose so. Off we go!
Falcon away! <laughs> Thank goodness! The seal is still intact! We made it in time! I sure hope so. What? If the Red Wings threw their full firepower into it, they might be able to break the seal by brute force. Then what are we waiting for? You're right. Let's go! We've got to get our hands on the crystal first. And then what? Then we'll go to the overworld with the Falcon and let the boss and everyone know about this. Are we really ready for this? Yup. We'll show them what my master's Falcon can do. Besides, I'm sure you're worried about Cecil and the rest, aren't you? Yeah. Come on, let's get going. Kane! Don't listen! Resist him! It's alright. I... I'm back in control of myself. <sighs> Brindia, what's wrong? I see. You saved me the trouble. So, you're one of the last surviving summoners. You're the one behind what happened to the Eidolans! The likes of you don't deserve either the Eidolins or the Crystals. Who asked you? There's one who's far more worthy of the Crystals. <gasps> Kalka! Brina! These ridiculous toys, what a waste of time. Now hand over the crystal. I won't let you have it! Uh. Rydia! With this, all four dark crystals are back in our hands. Wait! <sighs> Your lives are not my concern. <sighs> Rydia, you are right? Luca, what happened to the crystal? I'm sorry, Lydia. We need to hurry, before they get their hands on the overworld crystals too! Kalka. Brina. Thanks, you two. You were kinder to us than we ever deserved. I'm going to repair you. I promise!
Hekel didn't even pretend to take us seriously. Huh? She didn't lay so much as a finger on the falcon. Yeah, and she didn't kill us when she had the chance. So, it's not even worth her time to kill us? Doesn't look like it. Well, we'll show her. Quickly, to the overworld! Luca, where are we off to next? We'll head south until we reach the northern coast of Baron. They won't expect us to sneak in from the rear. What's that over there? A black chocobo. Pelham? That's not Pelham. Whoever it is with him. No, it did look like a girl though. Oh, that snake. After all that sweet talk he gave me. <laughs> Kalka! Brina! Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad that you're not hurt. <laughs> It's the Red Wings! They're trying to shoot us down! We're losing altitude! Time for an emergency landing then! Luca? Luca! I'm... okay. <sighs> Luca... Kalka, Brina, I'm sorry. We took some serious damage. Do you think we can fix it? Hmm. Oh, I'm Sid the airship man. That's what they call me. Just let me off that thing and I'll get her back up in a jiffy. That's what your master would be saying right about now, isn't it? You're right. See? 
There you go! Alright then, time to get to work! Let me help too. This doesn't look good. What is it? The damage is a lot worse than I thought. I can't fix it with what I have at hand. You're kidding me! If we can't get the Falcon back in shape, we'll be stuck here! I know, okay? I'm sorry. Wait, you aren't thinking about salvaging the parts from Kalka and Brina's bodies, are you? I don't have any other choice. That's the only way for me to get the Felican off the ground. Luca, you can't do this. But... You grew up with these guys. You've known them since childhood. <sighs> Can't you use these? This is perfect! Not just for the Falcon, but I can use these to fix Kilka and Brina too! Really? Yes! Thank you, Rydia! And I'll help too. We can repair this ship together! All right. The Falcon is back. <laughs> An earthquake? Why is the ground shaking? It's me, Rydia! Who are you? We need to go. The tower awaits. The tower! The horrors of the past come to visit us again. Who are you, really?